Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Y'all, Tamar went live. It had to be Thursday or Friday or something. And she's in her car. She's getting ready to go to the gym. And she was like, people that leave relationships are weak. I'm going to let you listen. And then we can talk about it. Let's go. That is not a commitment. Leaving, leaving isn't a badge of honor. Leaving is a sign of weakness. What? Leaving is a sign that you need healing, that you need prayer. Uh, that's what I'm saying. A real man will pray. A real man said, baby, let's go to counseling. A real, a real man don't lead a family, y'all. Where, where y'all getting this from? That's what I'm saying. Y'all letting the internet raise y'all. Like, is she talking about JR? Like, I mean, sure, yes, she's talking about JR. But is she saying that, because... I'm trying to make this make sense because she's saying that leaving is not a badge of honor. It's a sign of weakness. So you supposed to stay in a relationship that's toxic or bad for you? And then hope that he changes because that's what I heard. What did you hear? Let's keep going. No, the heal part of me won't let me accept that. Now, and I know I know it might sound weird for y'all, like, but those of us that are healed or healing, that would be highly offensive. That should be highly offensive to you. I really don't understand what she's talking about. I just I'm flabbergasted. No, I'm for real. I am forever. Yeah, somebody go in here and work out, you know, with my trainer. And I did my affirmations already. No, because, you know, the only way, the only way out is through. The only way out is going through it. Meaning the only way out of a situation, a bump in the road, uh, argument, uh, a misunderstanding, um, your spouse could be going, or your, your significant other could be going through something. The only way out is through, meaning to see it through. It's not to run. So Tamar is flabbergasted that she and JR are done. He said he wanted to be friends, but we can't, we're done. Is that what you're getting? Like, are you talking about JR? Because what? See it through. If it's not right, you should run. That is crazy. What kind of affirmations are you saying, Tamar? It's just, y'all better stop letting the internet give you bad advice. Y'all better stop letting the internet, because it, cause that right there sounds like to me the trick of the enemy. Yeah, you throw your whole life away because you gave somebody a warning at best. Y'all, come on. Come on. We're not children. We got children. And you know what? I know everybody think that they can be out in the street and do what they want to do to people and, and not come back, but it comes back. And where that thing manifests, that thing don't manifest through you because you've already grown. That, that thing manifests through your children. And if you keep playing with for real children of God, for real anointing and appointed people, you won't be here long because God ain't going to sit up here and let you, let you sit up here and play with his children like that. Okay, clearly I missed something, right? So I'm asking for any help that you can give me in the comments. What is going on? Like for real, what is going on? Because this is just... This is the craziest conversation I've ever heard. All we do is tell women not to settle, not to stay in relationships that don't serve you, right? If someone is not treating you well, you leave. It's better to do bad by yourself than be with someone and you're still doing bad. 
Put yourself first. Put yourself back on the list. And Tamar talking about some, we listen to the internet. Don't run. Y'all, help me out. It's your girl, Millie Chun. I, I'll be waiting. Bye, y'all.